In an age when everything is becoming more high-tech, a local man is going in the other direction. He is taking pictures that require more than point and shoot. As Bob Nixon shows us, returning to photography's roots takes passion and patience. The subject, renowned Vancouver artist Tico Kerr. The photographer, Robert Kenny. The instrument, well, the lens is 160 years old. The rest is a replica of a 19th century contraption called a collodion wet plate camera. It starts with a glass plate that must be cleaned with a mixture of ether, water, and calcium carbonate. Kenny then covers the glass in a stew of chemicals and silver nitrate. He then has 10 minutes to seat and position Kerr. This is technology born in 1850. It's so time consuming, a positioning rod is used to keep Kerr's head motionless. It's a fabulous shot. The, the value is that it's not simple. It requires effort and it's a very authentic process. Kenny has been a successful commercial photographer for more than 30 years. He's reached a stage where he wants to get back to photography's roots and he thinks he's not alone. This is an investment in time, mine and yours. There is no click, and the shot takes three minutes. And done. The digital image world is so fast and accessible and disposable. And here is an opportunity to really slow down and let a process do its magic on humanity. So this is that magic moment that we call the dramatic reveal? That's mystery to the whole always like that quality, yeah. Kenny then takes a digital photo of the glass image and manipulates it again. It's not like I'm pointing my iPhone at you in a restaurant and going, there's your new shot for Facebook. His result? From a different time. Bob Nixon, CBC News, Vancouver.